What's up everybody welcome back to man in the house yes it's fitness fridays again i'm happy i'm stoked that it's friday i weighed in actually it's thursday i'm doing this video on thursday but y'all know what i'm talking about so i did my weigh in this morning i'm gonna get to the results in just a minute but i want to take my a little bit of time and say thank you to all of you all those that watched the last video um, and subscribed or have liked the videos and commented uh, I've heard some fantastic comments uh, you guys know your stuff and I just I love the encouragement so continue to encourage each other uh, as I try to encourage you guys in whatever it is that you're trying to do in life and changing and elevating and staying motivated and positive so that being said we're going to jump right into the recipe. We're going to talk about, you know, what worked, what didn't work, things I've learned over the last week, as well as over the course of this whole Nutrisystem for Men program that I've been doing, my 2018 weight loss journey that I've been doing, y'all. Um, I have, it's almost been like Karate Kid. It's week six, and... I have been basically reading the book every day, you know what I'm saying, kind of following the book every day. Last week I noticed that I really didn't pick up the book at all. And you know, if I take you back to Karate Kid, you remember when, if you saw that movie, you remember when Mr. Miyagi was teaching um, Daniel, Daniel Sunlight is what he called him, uh, how to do karate. He really wasn't teaching him to do karate, he was just telling him you know paint the fence and wash the car or at least that's what Danielson thought and it's similar in this situation I was just kind of reading the book and kind of following the steps and then all of a sudden week six the light went off and everything started to click for me I understand now duh six weeks in I just understand I mean I was pretty much going you know for the first five weeks anyway and kind of got a good rhythm and, and understood what I was doing but now in week six week six is just like all the lights have gone off I pretty much got portion sizes down I didn't you know I haven't needed to use the book I know what to put together combinations wise I know how to prep for a week I know how to you know um, I know what I should be eating and I'm just I'm gonna share a little bit with that I'm going to share a little bit of that with you right now and just kind of explain to you what I know what I've learned so you've probably saw this in bits and pieces of Fitness Fridays for the last five weeks and I'm just gonna put it all together for you um, I eat entrees right and the entree may consist of whether it's lunch or dinner it may consist of you know one of their pre-made entrees a, you know a macaroni and cheese or uh, um, you know chicken and rice or whatever the case may be and they they want you to put a power fuel with it and we've talked about power fuels in the past power fuel is basically you know a a protein they give you a list of them uh, and it is you know between 80 and 120 calories usually about two ounces of meat whether it's lean beef or turkey or chicken you can do tofu and all that other stuff but um, so as I got to know how this goes basically I can make my own meals and that's what I'm gonna show you guys coming up because I know a lot of you have asked for like a week's worth of meal plan or you know like a what do you eat in a day now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do what do you eat in a day every day because I mix and match I kinda put it all together you guys because I got it down now so it's been very simple but what I am gonna do is teach you some some very simple ways of putting things together prepping for the week I'm gonna talk a little bit about that and then you're gonna see those videos come out and I'll probably produce like three to four videos of recipes uh, coming out next week and you'll see how I'm doing it and once you get the hang of doing it it is it's super super easy and like I said I don't know why but it really just clicked this last week so this is what I'm talking about I'll grab an entree and the entree is usually roughly about 260 270 calories and then they want you to put a power fuel with it for lunch they want you to put a power fuel with it for dinner and and then of course you have two opportunities to get your four opportunities to get your veggies in 
one at lunch, one at dinner, and maybe two, you know, during your snack times or whatever the case may be. But portion sizes. Half a cup if your veggies are cooked, a cup if your if your veggies are raw, two ounces of those lean meats that I talked about for power fuels. If you're doing a flex meal, you can do four ounces, but for the most part, that's it. And it's not just Nutrisystem that that is that it, that works for. You can pretty much that's just your daily life, you know? You go out to a restaurant, you go whatever, uh, just make sure that there's no hidden calories in there and you basically do two ounces of meat and whatever sidings you put together. This that I'm going to make for you today is some uh, Cajun chicken legs. I'm going to air fry those. Those I know are going to be good because you know, I want, I've been wanting like some fried chicken. Y'all know you, hey, you get used to eating fried chicken all your life. You want to figure out a way to get you some fried chicken in the healthy way. So we're going to get some fried chicken in here the healthy way. Uh, this is marinated in some Cajun seasonings with some olive oil. Uh, I got my got my little handy dandy air fryer right here, so we're gonna get that cracking. And this over here, what I got in the bag, I'm gonna I'm show you guys, you know how I'm gonna marinate that, but uh, or sprinkle that over. But I got 16 ounces or one pound of cut green beans that I hand cut in half, snip trim the edges or the ends and all of the other stuff, and and they're cleaned. And then I got eight ounces of mushrooms in there that I am going to uh, mix up with this right here, which is a tablespoon of olive oil and a, actually, this is what I had to do, y'all. This recipe actually only calls for two legs. I bought five. Five came in the pack, so I'm going to eat this all week, right? So I just did the math on the recipe to make sure that I had, you know, the amounts that were needed for the additional chicken that I have, right? These are actually two separate recipes on the, you know, the leaf uh, website that I always talk about. This is called roasted green beans and mushrooms uh, glazed or drizzled with a balsamic honey, you know, like drizzle, which is going to be fantastic. Um, and then, like I said, this is the air fried chicken legs. So I just put them together because the green bean portion is only 58 calories and the one chicken leg that I'm going to have with it is 155 calories. So that's only, what is that? 200 and a little over 200 calories. Um, also what I thought about doing, but I'm not going to do in this video cause, um, I'll end up doing that later cause you really don't want to prep rice for the week. I don't want to prep rice for the week. I'd rather like make it when I make it. So I'm going to add like a half a cup of brown rice into this as well. And, and then I can have it if I have it with the with the brown rice. It's like a flex meal. Brown rice is about 85 calories added to that. I'm still doing good. I'm a little over, you know, 300 calories or right around 300 calories with that. So this is just becoming more and more simple. I'm not going to talk too much longer, but I want to tell you this. Um, thank you again for subscribing. Thank you for watching the videos, for all of the, the, the dope comments, uh, for the requests for recipes. I hear you guys. I'm adding them to the list. It's a lot of them. So give me some time to get it, get it in order and prep it and all that stuff. And we'll get those videos out for you. What do I got on this right now? I already told you about the beans, the rice, and the chicken. I have there, because I modified this recipe, I'm going to put the original recipe in here, um, on, in the description box below, so you'll have it, and the links to them as well. But I'm going to tell you the modified version of what I got in here. So for the, so for the chicken recipe, it is... Uh, a two teaspoons of olive oil. I have five teaspoons because it's two teaspoons for two chicken wings, right? So I have five teaspoons because I have five chicken wings. It's two for two. I got another two, which makes it four. And then I have a fifth one. So I divided that two teaspoons in half to make it one, one additional or five, right? And then uh, a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. I just did the same thing with that. I multiplied it by the serving size. So I ended up with, I think I ended up with um, three tablespoons of Cajun seasoning along with that. Stirred it all up. I went ahead and I rubbed my chicken down 
and threw it in the bag, put it in the refrigerator, and let that marinate. I let it marinate for about 45 minutes. The recipe calls for a 30 minute marinade time, but I was busy and I was doing other things, so it got to sit and marinate a little bit longer, y'all. So hopefully that's gonna come out and be infused with that Cajun flavor. Um, that's pretty much the recipe. You throw that in the air fryer uh, at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes and you're done. You're done with the chicken. Same with these green beans. Now these green beans are um, these green beans are going to be or the rep the ingredients is like I said a pound of fresh green beans trimmed and halved uh, eight ounces of baby Bella mushrooms and then I uh, I got um, a tablespoon of olive oil a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar a teaspoon of honey I got my and all of that I've already mixed together in here uh, and then I have uh, half a tablespoon or half a teaspoon rather of garlic powder a half a teaspoon of sea salt and a, a, a tablespoon or a teaspoon full teaspoon of dried thyme right there so now y'all know what i got on the menu we're gonna get it cracking but before we do i got to give you the update i gotta let you know where i'm at for the week what happened did i lose weight did i not lose weight i'm telling you i'm excited about it yes i lost weight this past week I lost 3.2 pounds this past week. Week six, 3.2 pounds. Look, y'all, I am 206.4 now, uh, down from 209.6 last week. And I am, for a total weight loss, I have lost total 24.2 pounds. Y'all got that? Six weeks, I'm going to double check with my app, but I'm pretty sure. Yes. No, it's more than that, y'all. So I have lost 24.4 pounds in six weeks. And I, so far, no signs of plateauing. Everything's been great. And it's coming so easily to me because the knowledge has been absorbed. I know what to do. It's not like a struggle. It's working, y'all. It's working. So for those of you that are out there that are thinking about doing it, I would say if you can stick to something and you're serious about this thing, you can make it happen. Now, I ain't there. where I'm not at my goal yet. I've got about 46 more pounds and then I'm going to put some 20 pounds of muscle on. Yeah, I got it. I got a ways to go, but I'm excited about the small wins, which is big wins to me. 24.4 pounds is not a small thing. I feel lighter. I'm quicker. I'm, I'm, I'm healthier. I feel healthier. I'm sleeping better. All of the above, I'm feeling the effects of those 24 pounds not being on my body right now. So y'all make sure if y'all want to do something, I don't care if it's this program, whatever program, if you want to do it, do it to the max. Go in 1,000. Don't let nobody discourage you. Don't let nobody uh, 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 around you, um, you know, hinder you from doing whatever you want to do. You can do it. I don't care what kind of pressures you got. I don't care who you're around. I don't care what they eating. What, regardless, you do your thing. Have your meals prepped. Get yourself together. Have your snacks on deck. You ain't got to worry about what everybody else is doing this is you this is your life you doing this thing for you that's what i'm doing over here i'm doing this for me y'all i'm trying to get back in i'm trying to get my beach body back y'all i'm trying to get it get it cracking out here um so i'm hoping that you guys are are in it to win it you're staying encouraged and 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 you in 1000 percent to get to your goal because that's where I am. Man, I can't wait. I told you guys I'm not working out until I plateau. Can't wait to plateau uh, because I'm gonna be getting it in on the workouts too, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all some workouts, some stuff that I used to do back in the day. Um, I think y'all are gonna like them. It's simple. Simple seven, seven workouts, get you ripped, get you all together right. Um, we're gonna show you all of that. But so you got the weight loss update. Let's get to cooking, y'all. Cause I'm hungry. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to prep these um, these green beans because it's a real quick. I already got the oven preheated to 450. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle these out. 
The reason why I put them in the bag, now they tell you to go to spread them out on your tray and then put your um put your balsamic vinaigrette and, or your vinegar. It's not vinaigrette, y'all. It's vinegar. Balsamic vinegar and olive oil and honey. They want you to put it over the top and then toss it. Well, I ain't gonna be tossing all these on there and it's not gonna be evenly distributed. So my thought was I'm gonna pour this in this bag like so. And then I'm gonna take this bag and close it up. And we're gonna try to get this flavor all throughout these green beans and such because I think that's just gonna work out better. I know it ain't the best sounding thing on camera, but that's already looking like that's got to everything already. You know, I think that's a better way of doing it because then you got all of your green beans oiled up. You got all of your mushrooms with that, with that vinaigrette on there. And we're going to throw these in the oven for about 15 minutes, I believe it is, until they get that nice crisp going on them. We call it crunchy crisp. So not too done where they're mushy, but yet and still, they are um, nice and cooked, ready to eat. And then when you do this, when you do this, it's basically the same portion sizes. It don't matter how much you got on this, this tray. It's going to come out to... Now, I've, I've pre-greased this tray too, y'all. So they, they, they tell you to put some non-stick uh, cooking spray on there. So that's what I've done. I put some non-stick cooking spray on there. You can see it's got a nice even grease on it now that I put it in the bag instead of trying to do that in the dish here. And then they basically want you to kind of spread this out into one layer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to spread this out into, you know, as close as I can get to, to one layer. And then we're going to set this off to the side to get ready to be thrown in the oven. And we're going to chat a little bit while we're throwing this in the oven because I got something to ask you guys. I want to hear what you think about it. All right, so let me go ahead this here grab my gloves because y'all know me and these gloves and messing with chicken i like to throw some gloves on that way i don't you know contaminate the process while i'm you know switching between things so let me go on and toss this get this ready i'm gonna go ahead and pull this out this is my fryer y'all got my fryer right here getting ready to throw my gloves on Throwing my gloves. I, I got a feeling, y'all, these are going to be good. Let me, show, let me just show you how this looks. Let me just show you that. Look at that. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? It's got a nice little, you know, crisp on it. Looking good. It's not a crisp, but it's got a nice glaze on this. It's rubbed down real good, y'all. I can't wait to taste this either. Because I ain't had nothing that even resembled fried nothing in a long time. Six weeks to be exact. Nothing fried. So I am gonna I'm gonna get it in. So these seasonings over here, once these uh once this actually I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle those on to the uh to our green beans before we throw them in the oven. So, here we go. Let's put this in. And we're going to set this to 400. Turn that on. Increase that to 400. And we're going to get it in. How we start this. There it goes. Starts by itself. 15 minutes. Alright, so, I'm going to be right back. Because I'm going to go and throw them green beans in there for 15 minutes too. And then we should be ready to go. We should be ready to go. So I'll be right back, y'all. All right, I'm back. As you can see, there is no food over here. My food is cooking, so that sound you hear off over to, to the left here is my air fryer going. Look like I got about nine more minutes on that chicken. And then uh, upstairs, about the same amount of time on those green beans. Uh, as you can see, I, uh, I think I put them in there, and I put them in there in like a minute. And I was like, Oh wait, I didn't put the salt and all that stuff on there. So I ran upstairs, 
put all the salt and all that other stuff on there, the thyme and the garlic and woo, I can't wait because it's already smelling good. But while I got y'all, I wanted to have a, I wanted to throw a question out to you guys. This is kind of a, this is a, a sensitive subject for some people, I would assume. But tell me what you guys think about this. If you are a, if you a man with your woman, tell me if you good with her having close male friends. And vice versa, ladies, are you okay with your man having close female friends? Tell me what you guys think about that. I'm very, very interested in knowing, you know, where y'all think the boundaries should be, if there are any, or if y'all just good with it. You know, like, uh, you know, a lot of guys, guys are like, you know, you, you shouldn't be contact. Like, if you, like, y'all met in college and all this other stuff afterwards, y'all, you know, date, got married, whatever the case may be. And, you know, some of these male friends she might have had come back, start chatting. You know, wanting to wanting to to visit or whatever, or they're close friends rather. Tell me what y'all think about that. Is that appropriate? Where is the line? Is it okay? I know I'm gonna hear a bunch of different opinions on it, and I, I'm open. I want to hear. I want to hear. It's not like that's going on in, in my house or nothing like that. So I'm just throwing this out there for you guys because. I want to see if there's a difference in the answers for men versus from women. Honestly, that's really what I want to see is, is there a difference? Um, are you good with it? In today's day and age, you know, you don't know. You don't know. It, it, it don't even have to be where you think that a woman, you know, can't have a close male friend. Shoot, some of the close women friend could be thinking the same way as a male friend would be thinking and vice versa. So it's really not about that, but I just want to see what y'all think. I just want to throw that out there and see what y'all come back, what y'all hit me up in the comments with. Let me know. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Should, uh, let's say, let's say like this. We'll do it like this. If you marry, how would you, you know, do you think that that relationship should change? So if you're a married couple, is it not okay? Versus if you're not married, is it okay? Or is it never okay? Or is it always okay, no matter what the circumstance? Let me know. Drop me a comment. I know this thing is loud, because it's, it's really loud in my ear right now, y'all. I'm like, dang, six minutes of this? But anyway, tell me what y'all think. I want to know. And if, if for example, like, I'm going I'm to speak from the man's perspective, right? If you have a, whether it's girlfriend or wife, really don't make a difference, right? If they're that close to where, you know, they're doing sleepovers and all that other stuff, are you comfortable with something like that? And, 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 and where do you draw the line? You know, like, if they going out and they clubbing together, or if, they, if they're, you know, whatever the case may be, if they're hanging out a lot, at what point do you start to question it? At what point, if any at all, do you start to think maybe, quite possibly, there might be something going on more than just a friendship? Or, y'all ever seen, you know, maybe some of y'all been in this situation. I don't think I've ever been in this situation, but have you ever seen somebody that was stuck in the friend zone? with a female or with a, or with a guy that really didn't want to be in the friend zone. Like maybe they want a little bit more than just the friend zone, but they didn't know how to approach it. So, you know, you try to they try to be around that person like all the time. Tell me, what do y'all think about this? I'm I'm so excited to hear what you think because I have my own thoughts, but I want to I want to wait to hear what you guys think. Uh, before I start talking about how we manage it here or what we think about it here in my house here at man in the house right uh, y'all be surprised to know you know how things roll over here um, but it's been 19 years so whatever we doing it works it works and I'm gonna let y'all in on what it is uh, but I'm interested in hearing from you guys what do you think about it where's the line drawn 
is there a line? Do y'all just think, you know what? You should be confident in yourself to know that, because I know I'm going to hear it, y'all. I know I'm going to hear it. Man should be confident or a woman should be confident in her abilities and herself or her looks or whatever to know that, you know, she got her man her man ain't going nowhere. Or same way for the man. He should know he got it, you know, and, and she ain't going nowhere. Y'all tell me if that works in the real world. Confidence is everything. I tell y'all that. I, I didn't, you know, I know that. Confidence is everything. But your confidence in yourself doesn't dictate to a man or a woman, your, your counterpart, that they can't step out or go do something, you know, outside. Don't affect your confidence. <laughs> the fact that they get in a groove on don't affect your confidence. You can be confident in them up, but they might be, you know, tapping and tipping and, 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 and you know, dipping in the pond, you know. So... Y'all let me know what you think about it. I'm uh I'ma definitely be checking these comments for show to see what's going on. Hopefully y'all like this this recipe. It's coming up in about two minutes on the fried chicken. And we got about probably the same amount on the on the green beans up there. I'ma plate this up. Uh it is let's see, 155 plus 50, 205 plus eight is 213 calories for this meal now again normally i would add that half of cup of of rice and kind of complete brown rice and complete this meal and put me in about the 300 calorie range because really you should be somewhere around three to four hundred calories if you're doing a flex meal um i try to stick around that because remember i'm only on a 1500 calorie diet uh daily and I don't want to be eating like 500 in one sitting, you know. So I usually stay like 350 ish, if at, at max. Usually, yeah, around that, around that entree plus about 100, 100 to 120 calorie power fuel, and I'm good. I'm good to go. So one minute on this, we count it down. Uh, anything else you guys want to hit me up on? Also, don't forget to like the video, uh, thumbs up the video, add your comments, share the video with others, especially if you know they're trying to do something about their, their weight or if they want some encouragement or they, they need some motivation on Mondays, they need a little bit of uplifting throughout the week or whatnot, um, definitely share the video. Uh, spread the word man in the house is here I'm here to encourage I'm here to lift I'm here to level I'm here to you know win with y'all let's win together that's my motto I told y'all stay encouraged and let's win together that's what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna do 2018 uh, by summertime listen I'm gonna tell you by summertime I'm gonna be beach ready up in this bad boy I hope you're gonna be beach ready whatever beach ready looks like for you it don't even matter Oh, that's the beep right there. All right, you're doing a lot now. Okay. All right, so that's done. I'm going to go grit the green beans. I'll be right back, y'all. And then we're going to turn this second camera on. Y'all going to get to see it all. Y'all going to get to see it all. Here we go. All right, we back. As you can see, I got my green beans over here. And my mushrooms, they are perfectly cooked. Got a nice crisp on them. Smells so good. Got that thyme flavor and that garlic and, and all of that ready to go. Wafting up in my nose. I've already portioned out a half a cup right here. So I'm ready to go with that. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull out my chicken. Ooh, that looks good. I ain't got no tongs or nothing, y'all. I'm going to have to give me a fork. But I'm about to put this out here. Ooh, crispy. Ready to go. I'm gonna put the rest y'all see that there you go fried chicken air fried healthy fried not deep fried All right, I'm gonna leave that like that. All right, so Got my fork in hand. I'm getting ready to try this y'all. You got to try this. Let me see Now this is healthy cook these is I put these in there for 15 minutes like I told you and and they they are Got a nice crisp on them. They're done, but 
Mm, mm, mm. Very good. Gotta save my grace, y'all. Woo! These are so good. Now I say my grace silent like I normally do, y'all. But, you know, I be saying it loud for y'all. But we don't be like doing that all the time. I say my grace silent like normal people. The only time I really say it out loud is when there's a lot of us together and they all need to hear it too, so. But man, this chicken. Mm-mm-mm. Let me see. Mm-mm. 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 Woo! Got that nice Cajun kick to it. That's for sure. Oh, one other thing on that, on the chicken. These legs, I pulled the skin off. So you got to make sure uh, the recipe calls for skinless chicken legs. So go ahead and pull that skin off, rinse it, take all the fat off and everything, and then do your um, your marinade <clears throat> so that you don't lose that. But this is without the skin, healthy version. That's good too. I learned so much, y'all. So much in, you know, just what to do with your eating. Make sure you're on point and you 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 eating the right stuff. Mm, mm, mm. This chicken is hot, though, boy. About to burn my mouth. Let some of that heat out. Mm -mm. Ooh. This food right here, fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all know what to? Normally I get some Tabasco sauce and throw some Tabasco sauce on this and Give me my spice. I love spice. You gotta have it. But this recipe on the chicken is two servings, and the two servings is only two legs. So it's obvious one leg is a serving. And if you like me, back in the day, you never ate one leg. I started out with three legs. Okay, that's just how I was. But now. I'm so used to eating the smaller portion sizes, I'd be full. That I'm eating every two and a half hours. So, you never get to the place where you're starving. Get yourself a bite. We'll do a thumbnail at the same time. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. To get the bite into this bad boy. It's so hot, y'all. So I'm gonna take it directly out of the fryer. Yeah, if y'all hear some talking, that's my wife and a, a guest subscriber upstairs talking. They talking all through my video, y'all. So if y'all hear talking, that's what it is. I didn't leave the TV on or nothing. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. 
That Cajun spice is good. Very good. Now, I would probably leave my chicken in a little longer because I like my stuff dark. Even when it's fried, I like it darker, crunchier. <coughs> I just followed the recipe on this 15 minutes. But uh, for me, I like it a little crunchier. So I would definitely leave it in longer. In fact, when I wrap this video up, I'm going to start that up again. Probably leave it in there for another mm, maybe 10 minutes or so. Get it real crunchy. But it's good, though. I love that Cajun seasoning. So what I'm going to do with the rest of this, like the green beans over here, and this is what I would suggest that you guys do. Is when you're done cooking your meals, go ahead and pre portion out the rest of the food so that it's all ready for the week. So if you want to eat it for lunch or for dinner, you have these in half cup uh, portions already whether you want to put them in Ziploc bags or Tupperware bowls or whatever the case may be but go ahead and do that and then you you got it it's grab and go it's grab and go y'all I, I believe in the grab and go I believe in having your stuff ready and on deck and then you ain't never in no situation where you tempted because you got your food there you got your food that's like your friend your friend is with you all the time and <laughs> straight up and then you you know when you're seeing other people eat and you're getting hungry, go grab your friend and then you ain't in a bad situation. Straight up. That keeps you from cheating. Seriously, the urge to cheat, and when I say cheat, I mean really what, it, what I'm saying is the urge to go backwards in what you've been doing eating wise comes from that intense hunger pain. It's almost like when you get extremely hungry, you don't care no more. You just want to eat, and you want to eat something now. And your willpower and your ability to choose the right things kind of goes out the window. So, for some of you that don't have the strongest willpower, your best friend is your level of fullness. Because when you are already full, that's why I say eat every two and a half hours at least. Um, usually around two to two and a half hours. Um, if you do that, you're never to the point where you're hungry and you're craving. Because your body is fueled constantly. You're eating. And you don't have to worry about it, those cravings and all that stuff. As long as you're eating the right mix. Like for the most part, this right here. This meal right here. Absent the uh, the uh, the brown rice, like I said, it's low carb. It's a low carb meal. I haven't done it. I haven't eaten anything that had carbs in it. Basically, I got green beans, you know, as a vegetable, you know, low carb, and uh, and mushrooms and chicken. Depending on your level of carbs, you you good. Mm, mm, mm. I know I'm tearing this bone up, y'all. But I'm hungry. So.
I'm gonna wrap this video up. That Cajun was good. Can't leave that mushroom there. Um, normally, when I'm doing these, I try to you know get it in in between dinner and and my last. Uh, I use this as my last snack, y'all. So I don't go over my calorie limit. So I'm I'm pretty good. I was only at like what I say 213 calories for this. So I'm good to go, y'all. Um, till next time. Thank you guys for joining me and Man in the House. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, with your family, with, with folks you know that is trying to do something about their weight or, or like I said, <laughs> excuse me, just need some encouragement, some motivation um, and stuff like that. So I haven't forgot about the, the, the live questions on Wednesday. Some of you uh, actually like that, that uh, suggestion or that, that uh, concept that I came up with. It's just doing some live, uh, you know, question answers. You can ask anything, you know. Uh, I'll probably have my wife with me on some of those as well. So if you, you guys want to ask relationship questions or whatever and whatnot, we'll answer those as well. Weight loss, um, what I'm doing, I'll share with you where I, what I've learned or anything. Anything, y'all. Um, we'll do some lives like that as well. But, again, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank y'all for checking me out on Man in the House. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends, with your family, with everybody. And stay encouraged. And let's win together. Peace out.